Let's do a session on greenwashing and bluewashing. So both of these are deceptive marketing practices, but they target different aspects of the company's image. We we'll start firstly with greenwashing. So greenwashing refers to when a company is making false or misleading claims about their environmental practices. And they might portray themselves as eco-friendly or sustainable when in reality, well, their actions have a negative impact on the environment. Now, an example of a greenwashing would be the company claims to make products and those products are from recycled materials. But in reality, only a tiny, only a small percentage actually is made from recyclable materials. Therefore, that's an example of a greenwashing. On the other side, we've got blue washing. Now, blue washing refers to making misleading claims about a company's social responsibility. That might include labour practices. Now, that involves companies either exaggerating their positive contributions or downplaying their negative aspects like unfair labour conditions. An example of that could be a clothing brand. Well, the clothing brand claiming that their products are, well, they're ethically made, but in fact, they're not. They're not ethically made. Their workers are underpaid and their work in unsafe conditions. Well, that really doesn't match with what they are claiming. So that's blue washing. Now, both with green washing and blue washing, well, there's increasing awareness of these terms, increasing traction of these terms. So therefore, consumers are they're aware and they're making much more informed decisions when they're looking to purchase things. So therefore, it's increasingly dangerous for a business to pursue this type of greenwashing or bluewashing public relations. I hope that helps. I'll see you in the next session.